Well, hello, it's been a long time since I did a video. Very long time. Um, I like that. We're in January now. <laughs> We're in January. Uh, God, December. Let's never talk about it again. Um, everyone's talking about Christmas presents and what they got. I don't like bragging. I never do. I mean, my birthday's in December the 29th. 25th is never a good day for me. Um, so, right, what should I? St what should we do? What should we talk about? Um, Hormis releases. Wow. Um, I might be getting a 47 since they're now bringing out a GBRF 47. Well, I've got a lot to talk about, really. Um, my class 37, what I chipped, the motor blew up. I did everything to sort it out. It melted the motor, motor housing on the outside. I couldn't work it out. Then I worked out something, something not, well, it wasn't the track. I think something caught, sort of set it up to go. But now the, it's had a new motor, it's back to DC. The 47, the Angular 147 is still running perfect. So I've decided to buy another 47. The 37 I've got might be going. To be honest, I have now got to think about getting rid of some locos. Um, I have treated myself for my birthday. I treated myself to a. I can't. I can't even show it properly. Um, this is silly. Um, I treated myself to a weathered nine air force just been released. That's it. Close it off and my back off switch. Yep, I treated my, you can't see it really well. It's been weathered. I really have got, I mean, there's no light in here. So, yep, I treated myself to one of them. Um, I've just had a parcel. Well, the story about the 9F, my brother, bless him, he's a lovely bloke, a bit, a bit, a bit crazy. Um, he decided to go to John Duffield's in his little Nissan Micro, Nissan Note and buy me a 9F chip. I didn't even own a 9F when this chip was given to me on my on my birth, on my Christmas. So, on my birth, on the 27th of December, I treated myself to a 9F and put a chip in. Yep, it runs really nice and really smoothly. Then, while I was doing that, I decided to shop around. I've been after, I've been after her. Class 20, and I treated myself to a Backman Class 20 in BR green with indicated discs. But that's a 21 pin decoder, and the only 21 pin decoder I've got is actually in my rod, so that's not going in there. And what else? Oh, this came today. I haven't even opened it properly yet. I've, I've looked at it. Thinking, well, it's about time I do some more scenery work. So, let's go more scenes. I ordered myself a village notice board that's now going to go and attach itself to the wall of the village. And there might be another one going somewhere, going somewhere on here. This bit, this bit, yeah. So, so I treated myself to one of them. I treated myself up to two. Fruit and veg boxes. Love that. Crates of fruit and veg boxes. They do look really complicated to put together. And I bet you've got to have a lot of patience to do that. And you know something? I like a challenge. So gonna be an interesting challenge. You know what I'm saying? I might adjust this so it doesn't need them. Yeah, that's going to be a chance to put them together. And I did treat myself to small Euro pallets. I think it's not the. Well, I know what you're thinking. It's not really the right thing for the right decade layout and the right decade pallets. But to be honest, rule one does kick in this layout, little layout so that's it I broke a 37 
I bought myself a truck, I bought myself a new sound low well no a loco. I've got some kits to build. I'll tell you one thing, I've had to sort out the code for this again. So that's an interesting experience. I've had a lot of trouble with one of my coaches, one of my railway coaches. This one is so much trouble. I don't know what's causing. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what's causing it. I really, do not know what's causing it. Metal wheels are on it. I'm. I'm at the stage where I change the bogies. Or I just fork out and buy a brand new. Buy um, instead of railroad co railroad coaches. I'd stay coaches. Yeah, that's another thing. My Mark III, Hornby Mark III's are brilliant. I've never. I never would judge them. Well, I've done, oh yeah, yeah, I did do something to the layout in that corner now. I've finally done that. I put a hedge around it. So there's a hedge around the layout. You can't see it back properly. So there's actually another hedge around that. It actually hides a glue stain right there. So I'm not worried. So that's that. You can tell I've had an interesting week. Of course, I've had all the GBRF locos out of the boxes. With, I mean, I've had the Evening Star, I've had the 92, the number 66 out, the 47, the 40, I don't know why I had that out, but to be honest, I thought I can just run a nice passage, nice passenger train round the layout, but every time I started reading my book, it kept coming off the track, so I can't read at the same time drive to that. Oh, another good news. Well, I think it's good news for me. I now have finished off paying my car off. I now still got to buy a clutch for it. But I have got quoted for 550 quid. So, this is seven and a half minutes long, and I'm now gathering on the crap. So, mini's paid off. So, I'm hoping to do more outings in it if I get the clutch done. I've been. I have been a couple of places, but I didn't film them. So, so that is it. I haven't. Well, I haven't. I haven't bought anything else really. I mean, two locos, a couple of kits, and a real good birthday in in um, Hyde Park. It's great. I liked it. I don't like I don't, the thing is I don't like London transport so much. I, I like wow. You, you're packed in like sardines. I hate that feeling. To be honest, you pack like sardines in this shed when you get when you get another person in it. Yeah. So I am going to build up some pressure. I love that, press the whistles. Well, I thought that was facing forward, so... I don't know what I did there. Actually, to be honest, I reckon you can see it better this way, so... I don't know to do a review on it. I'll tell you one thing, putting a sound chip in this is really, really hard. But easy, explainable, well, very explainable and very hard. All right, I've made this to help me out to guess what sounds I've got. I've got another one going there, so that's got to be done. So, hmm, that helps. All right, this is 10 minutes long. You're probably all going to get bored. I've dropped some things on the floor and I'm going to call it a day. I might do a video. I actually might do a review. So, if you see this video today, tomorrow there might be a video. I don't know. I, I don't want to hold up my hold your hopes up. <sighs> oh, yes, the sound does still work. I have not plugged it in because it drove me at the wall. But I've worked out something. If I get in the shed in, a, in, the shed in an hour, well, about 10 o'clock, leave it plugged in, 
it goes off in an hour the bell so it makes me think hold on one bell one hour so that, that does help so for a clock I can actually use the gauge master sound thing the cat situation hasn't got any better or any worse to be honest oh I'm going to call it a day so I'll lean down for something I don't know what I'm leaning down for uh, right so bye bye for now